how to build trust and strong relationship with the customer. Now everyone works with customers, be it in sales team, be it in finance team, or be it in customer services, or be it any other teams. We all interact with customers. So everyone wants to know how to build that trust and strong relationship with the customer. Now I have five steps which can help you in building trust and strong relationship with your customers. Number one, know your customer. It's good to know your customers. Know what your customers want. Know the requirements of your customer. Know who your customers are. Know what is the vision of your customer. Know what they want to accomplish. Because I have seen while doing customer demos, being in corporate meetings, there are so many people who come into the meeting, who walk into the meeting, but they don't know their customers. And they ask their customers about them. Do you think the customers will love that? No, they won't like it. But if you have done research on them, when you talk about them, when you talk about their vision, and that is when customers will feel, okay, there is somebody who has done research about me or us. So that shows your interest in the customer. Number two is genuinely care for your customer. Now, most of the customer services teams, sales teams, people try to fake. People try to show as if they care, but they don't care. A lot of them. But yes, customers will get to know if you fake. Customers will get to know if you are really not caring about them. So genuinely care for your customer because your customers are getting you business. So you have to care for your customers. When you genuinely care for your customers, your customers will also get to know you and they will care for you. Number three is always keep up to your commitments. Now you must have given a commitment on a certain day or a certain day on or a certain particular module or product or whatever it is. Always keep up your commitment. You can't give up on your commitments, be it a small one or be it a big one because your customers will respect you and they will trust you only when you keep up with your commitments. Be it you giving a call to them, right? Or anything that you have promised or committed, always keep up your commitment. And then number four is ask for feedback. Now, many of them, they don't ask for feedback. Many of them don't understand the importance of feedback. So when you don't ask your customer for feedback, they will not give you the feedback. So you will never know what is lacking between you and your customers. Like what is, where is the problem? What is the challenge? You will not know that until and unless you ask for feedback. And number five is follow up. Now be it in sales or other teams, different teams, the problem with most of them is they don't follow up. Once the sale is done, people think that is it. But you have to follow up with your customer. When you follow up with your customer, even after the sales is done, even after you have delivered something, they feel valued. When they give you feedback and you follow up with them and you check with them whether things are really worked for them, how are things going on and all that, they will feel, yes, somebody cares for me. These people really care for me, right? And when people, when customers will feel they are cared for, they are respected and they are valued, then they will continue to stay with you. They will continue to work with you. And the last and the bonus tip, because I've already given those five tips, but I'm giving you one bonus tip here. And this bonus tip is be 100% you. Be authentic with the customer. Now, many people think I have to lie to the customer. I have to tell something that is not existing. Right. But that will not help you in the long run. That will not help you to bring that strong relationship or trust with your customer. So you need to be authentic. If you don't know anything, it's OK. Say you don't know. And tell them that you are going to learn this or understand this and come back to them. That will make them feel valued. If there is nothing that is available as a feature in your product, if you can't do something, 
say you can't do rather than you committing right now that you can do it it's already available and then later breaking that trust it's always better to say right now you can't do that's not available or you don't know and then you say that i'm going to research on this we are going to work on this and see if we can add this then think about it your customer again will start trusting you more because you are going to be authentic you are transparent with the customer you are honest with the customer and believe me my dear friends honesty always pays transparency will help you in terms of the long run so if you are able to follow the five tips plus the bonus tip then you will be able to build a strong relationship and trust with your customer thank you